Chapter 610 Take Over. Huo Yuao held Tang Wuchong's hand as they flew through the air. While Radiant City was in a complete mess not far behind them, Radiant City was in disarray, not just because of Xu Tianran's death, but also because many aerial surveillance cell tools were exploding. Only a small number of people knew about Xu Tianran's death at the moment, but the entire city citizens could see the exploding aerial surveillance cell tools in the sky. That was something that couldn't be hidden. Radiant City had descended into chaos, and nobody knew how long it would take before it could settle down. However, Huo Yuao was very confident in Ju Zi. She was too capable, and almost every situation was within her grasp. Since she had prepared to deal with Xu Tianran, she had definitely also prepared for what would come afterward. Now was the time for her to flip her cards one after another. Huo Yuao and Tang Wuchong left just like that. He didn't even try to arrange anything, and neither did he obtain a definite answer from Ju Zi. He knew that they were leaving a little too abruptly. He also wanted to stay, and he wanted to watch Ju Zi reorganize the Sun Moon Empire's internal affairs, and execute her promise of not moving against the Star Lua Empire and the Doling Empire within ten years. That was her best choice. As long as he and Tang Wutong were around to intimidate the Sun Moon Empire, he believed that she wouldn't dare to do anything rash, but he had to leave. If he didn't leave, both he and Tang Wutong would probably not be able to leave ever again. Huo Yuao and Tang Wutong had rained hell upon Xu Tianran to destroy him during that epic battle, but serious problems surfaced in their bodies. Cracks were conspicuously tearing out over the barriers that Long Xiao and Yu Shishui had left in their bodies, and these barriers could crumble at any moment. Once these barriers crumbled, they would both run the risk of going insane. This was especially so for Huo Yuao, because the evil Itarant King's spiritual power was still revolting violently within his spiritual sea. The Sky Dream Ice Worm really couldn't hold on any longer, and he didn't even have time to take this news back to Shrek Academy at a time like this. They had to find a place to cultivate. Otherwise, they would be faced with certain death. Therefore, he said a few brief sentences before he quickly took Tang Wutong away from Radiant City and toward the Heavenly Soul Empire. How are you, Yu Hao? Tang Wutong could clearly feel that Huo Yuao's palm was ice cold, and his soul power was surging about vigorously within his body. His body radiated with strange light, and that was a sign of Huo Yuao almost losing control over his soul power. Huo Yuao didn't look so good as he said, I'm afraid I can't hold on for much longer. We have to find a place to cultivate. If not, we'll be in trouble. Tang Wutong nodded and said, Let's do it here. We can't delay this any longer. There was a valley beneath them. They couldn't be bothered with getting the direction right because of the big problems that had risen in their bodies, and they didn't know where they were. But they couldn't be bothered with anything else as they immediately went down. Tang Wutong punched a hole in the side of the mountain, and she supported Huo Yuao as they snuck inside. They didn't even have time to conceal themselves at a time like this. The two of you can rest assured as you cultivate. We'll protect you guys. The Snow Empress and the Ice Empress emerged from Huo Yuao's body at the same time. They had nervous expressions on their faces, because the soul power and spiritual power Huo Yuao's body were just too vast. Even with their experience and their knowledge, they had never seen such vast energy undulations, which seemed to go beyond this world's limits. And Huo Yuao could explode at any moment. If that happened, then all the effort that they had put in before this would be wasted. Huo Yuao couldn't even express his gratitude. He was barely able to fly, and he was already controlling himself as much as he could. He sat down on the ground and immediately focused as he used all his spiritual power to control his soul power. Tang Wutong helped him cross his legs and sat opposite him. They could no longer use hard on power to cultivate. Furthermore, the soul power within their bodies was too vast, so she couldn't help Huo Yuao at all. She was facing a similarly huge problem, and she only observed Huo Yuao for a moment and made sure that he wasn't in any danger before she started to meditate. The first thing she had to do was maintain that barrier in her body before anything else. Huo Yuao's barrier was starting to break apart irrevocably. A soul power that resembled tidal waves surged around in his body. Huo Yuao's spiritual soul core had been filled by the evil Ai Tyrant King's formidable spiritual power, and Long Xiao's soul power had also filled his ultimate ice soul core to the brim. Huo Yuao's body was like an enormous balloon that had been pumped with as much air as it could take, and it was still being pumped continuously. Huo Yuao's body was already starting to swell. His veins bulged on his skin, and his body was an unhealthy red color. A golden sun and a blue moon flickered incessantly behind him, and the air would contort faintly with every flicker. Fortunately, Tang Wutong was sitting opposite him. A golden sun and a purple moon flickered behind her at the same time, and they resonated with Huo Yuao's aura. This resonance, and perhaps also because of their yin yang complement soul cores, barely suppressed that energy storm in Huo Yuao's body. The Ice Empress and the Snow Empress stood guard at the cave entrance. The Ice Empress glanced at the Snow Empress worriedly and asked, "He's not in a very good state. Can you hold on?" The Snow Empress lowered her voice and said, He definitely can. Haven't we succeeded in tiding through every single trouble and toil over these years? No matter what we faced, this is the last step he has to take. And if he can succeed, then he will rise through the heavens. Our dream will come true. But if he fails, the Snow Empress smiled brightly as she spoke. So what if he fails? If not for him, we'd probably have been dead a long time ago. Let's just accompany him if he fails. The Ice Empress was astonished. Have you made up your mind, Snow Empress? The Snow Empress smiled faintly and replied, Are you really asking me that? Haven't you made up your mind too? You're just unwilling to admit it, even though you're always so fierce. Toward the Sky Dream Ice Worm every day, I can tell that your eyes are becoming increasingly tender and gentle. Seems like you've truly found someone that you like. You have already decided to fuse your origin with Yuao, haven't you? And you're going to do that because Sky Dream has already completed his own fusion in order to help him. So we are left with our spiritual origin, and that's the last strength we can use to help him. We can't be separated from him after completing this fusion. And even if he does succeed in reaching that world in the end, we cannot separate ourselves from him. That's the true meaning of one for all, an awful one. I can't bear to leave you guys. So why can't I have made up my mind? The Ice Empress held the Snow Empress' hand. She blushed as he said, Snow, I. I didn't with that fellow. The Snow Empress giggled and said, We've known each other for hundreds of thousands of years. How can I not know what you're thinking about? Don't overthink this, because I'm not trying to tease you. I am truly happy for the two of you. Aren't we all in a good place right now? Yes. No matter what, we have to help him pass this difficult test. Let me go first, Snow. Yu Ao is in a terrible situation now, and he needs to stabilize himself. All right, go. I'll stay here. The Snow Empress looked at the Ice Empress seriously, and she hugged her gently before she released her with a faint smile on her face. The Ice Empress skidded before the Snow Empress, and she gave her a peck on her face before she giggled and ran away. Huo Yuao was in a terrible situation. One could say that he was in the worst condition that he had ever been in. There was just too much energy within his body. What he wanted most was to vent the vast energy out of his body, but he couldn't do that at all. Huo Yuao couldn't control his soul power with his spiritual power, because his spiritual power was in a mess in the first place. The evil Itarant King's spiritual power had already been cleansed, but that spiritual power itself was violent, like it contained a formidable avenging spirit within it. It continued to wreak havoc, and it wanted to dominate Huo Yuao's spiritual sea. The evil Itarant King had been a formidable soul beast with more than 700,000 years of cultivation. Even though his body was dead, he could still retaliate while drawing his last breath. It's no wonder I didn't feel any spiritual undulations after his death. He hid his spirit strength within his soul ring, and his compressed vast amounts of spiritual power inside it. It's clear that the evil Itarant King calculated precisely before his death that I had to absorb his soul core, and what he's trying to do now is possess me. He wants to possess my body. Huo Yuao wouldn't be afraid of the evil Itarant King if Long Xiao hadn't infused all that soul power into his body. He had the Sky Dream Ice Worm and the Merma
his spiritual soul core was strong enough that the evil eye tyrant king's spirit could truly complete the possession. But the outcome would remain the same if this situation was allowed to continue. The evil eye tyrant king was intelligent. He could clearly feel what Huo Yuao was experiencing, because he wouldn't have done anything otherwise. What he could do was wait for an opportunity when something was happening to Huo Yuao's body. Once Huo Yuao could control the soul power within his body, and once the evil eye tyrant king completely unleashed his havoc, then Huo Yuao's soul core would no longer be stable. That was the best time for possession. The evil eye tyrant king was still pleased with being able to possess an ultimate Dolo's body. He had had a chance to escape with his spirit when Huo Yuao killed him, and he could even be reborn through one of his descendants' bodies. The evil eye tyrant king had a very formidable spirit, and killing him completely wasn't that easy. But he didn't choose that, because he had his eyes on Huo Yuao's body. The evil eye tyrant king's strength would be greatly affected if he had chosen one of his descendants for rebirth, and he would need a long time to regain his peak condition. That was still possible back then, and all he needed was more time. That was the conservative choice, but he couldn't make the same choice this time because he was about to face his next tribulation, and his tribulation wouldn't care if he was severely injured or if he had been reborn through possession. The tribulation would target his soul, and the evil eye tyrant king wasn't confident of successfully making it through this great tribulation, even if he was at his peak. He didn't have formidable life energy like the beast god did. Not to mention when he was already severely injured, he would truly meet his demise once that tribulation struck. Therefore, he chose to take the riskier path after some thought, and he chose to possess Huo Yuao's body, just as Huo Yuao had guessed. The evil eye tyrant king was certain that Huo Yuao couldn't possibly abandon such a formidable soul ring, and the evil eye tyrant king would still have time to possess one of his descendants, even if Huo Yuao did forego it. And once Huo Yuao absorbed his soul ring, the evil eye tyrant king would aim to find a chance to possess his body. A soul beast's body couldn't conceal his aura, but a human body could. Furthermore, Huo Yuao had such a high cultivation and formidable soul power. If the evil eye tyrant king could succeed in possessing his body and complete his third soul core, then he would be absolutely confident of making it through his next tribulation. He could even use this human body to break through into the god realm. The evil eye tyrant king was overcome with intense greed, and that was the reason why he chose this riskier path. It seemed like his opportunity had come, and success was within his grasp. Therefore, he wasn't hasty at all. He was waiting for something to happen to Huo Yuao's body before he would make an all-out attack. He didn't want to ruin this body, because what would be the point of possession if that happened? He had to wait until Huo Yuao was about to crumble before he could take control over his body. Afterwards, he would rely on his formidable spiritual power, diffusing with Huo Yuao's body to control the violent revolting soul power, suppress it, and slowly absorb it. The evil eye tyrant king became increasingly satisfied with the current situation as he continued to think. Everything was going better than he had expected. A perfect body, a perfect type, and a spiritual sea that was so powerful that it could carry his spiritual power. There was still the soul power that was unabsorbed but extremely pure, and the shape of a third soul core was within reach. This was the best kind of gift that the heavens could give him. A bluish green shadow glimmered into view behind Huo Yuao in this moment. She wasn't considered extremely beautiful, but her ice gold aura and majestic elegance, her perfect and alluring body, and her jade green frame gave off a unique and exotic beauty. Tang Wutong was having it easier as she sat opposite Huo Yuao. Her golden sun and purple moon's light flickered as they radiated and dimmed continuously, even though she was unstable. Her undulations weren't as vigorous, but Huo Yuao's situation was a lot worse. His golden sun flourished, but his blue moon was exceptionally dim as thick mist steamed from his body. His clothes were completely soaked as large beads of sweat rolled down from his forehead. The ice empress took a deep breath. Her body became like a scorpion's tail and glowed with brilliant jade green light. That green color wasn't one that was filled with life, but one that was cold to the extreme. The mist that rose from Huo Yuao's body was immediately transformed into countless ice particles that drifted down, and the cabin was cleansed. The ice empress eyes sparkled like two pillars of icy flames. She crossed her legs, sat down behind Huo Yuao, and pressed one palm against his back. She moved closer to his body and pressed her other hand on Huo Yuao's dantian. Thick green flames burned within her eyes in the next moment, and green hues permeated the entire cabin. Not a single inch of iciness was released, and the ice empress slowly closed her eyes as she burned her spiritual sense, and a faint smile appeared on her beautiful face while her own voice echoed in her heart. You're so silly, Sky Dream. I'm not very eloquent, and I don't really know what to say, but I can remember everything you've done for me over the years. Even though I'm cold, you've melted me, and this is all I can do. This is the best kind of love I can give you. I'm burning my spiritual sense, and we will no longer be separated. Icy waves surged into Huo Yuao's body, and the revolting soul power within his dantian immediately quieted. Not because his soul power stopped circulating, but because it was frozen by those strange icy waves. Long Xiao soul power was formidable, but the ice empress was burning her spiritual sense, and the power of her spirit wasn't inferior to that of an ultimate duo. That was pure freezing power, and both spiritual power and soul power would be instantly frozen. Huo Yuao's expression became a lot calmer as the soul power within his dantian froze. He slowly took a deep breath, and his aura was as solemn as ever. There seemed to be dragon roars echoing through the air with his exhalation. Huo Yuao was in the most pain that he could be in right before the ice empress began burning her spiritual sense. Of course, he knew that he had been tricked, and this was happening to him because he had been too eager for success. However, he couldn't possibly have made another choice under those circumstances as he thought back over the situation. The Sky Dream Ice Worm had given him a guarantee, and the 700,000 year soul ring was so alluring that he couldn't possibly turn it away. Fortunately, the Sky Dream Ice Worm was around. The Sky Dream Ice Worm had absorbed much of the evil eye tyrant king's soul power inside his soul ring, and Huo Yuao was only absorbing a small portion with his spiritual sea. This resulted in the evil eye tyrant king only being able to mobilize part of his spiritual power when moving against Huo Yuao in an attempt to consume Huo Yuao's spiritual power to strengthen himself. The evil eye tyrant king could only reabsorb the spiritual power from the Sky Dream Ice Worm once he had strengthened himself to a certain extent. In other words, the Sky Dream Ice Worm made the evil eye tyrant king's possession process much more challenging and complicated. But even then, the soul power in Huo Yuao's body was too violent and shocked his body so much that he couldn't resist the evil eye tyrant king's absorption at all. Huo Yuao was experiencing so much pain that he couldn't fight back at all. The ice empress burning her spiritual sense was like a lifeline to Huo Yuao at a time like this, and the soul power within his body immediately settled down as he heaved a long sigh of relief. Huo Yuao relied on his formidable spiritual power as he exhaled, and he readjusted and realigned all the disorganized soul power within his body. His yin yang complement soul cores began to spin stably again, and immense gravitational forces appeared once more that withdrew and took back the chaotic soul power and spiritual power running through his passageways. The evil eye tyrant king naturally discovered the big changes in Huo Yuao as soon as they occurred, and he turned pale with fright. He had already exposed himself, and he understood that if Huo Yuao regained the upper hand, then there was nothing left for him but death. The evil eye tyrant king no longer had his original body, even though he had taken his spirit and his essence with him. He was still quite a far cry from Huo Yuao, who was an ultimate duo and had yin yang complement soul cores. The evil eye tyrant king didn't have a single chance if Huo Yuao could concentrate all his attention on dealing with him. The evil eye tyrant king had no choice at a time like this, and he didn't even have time to think as he launched his attack as soon as possible. The evil eye tyrant king couldn't let Huo Yuao catch his breath as the energy that he had hidden within Huo Yuao's spiritual sea erupted, and a single will of evil light glowed above it. Huo Yuao had his legs crossed, and a blood red evil eye surfaced behind his back. Evil light flickered as the entire cave was tainted red. Tang Wutong was already in meditation, even though her situation was a lot better than Huo Yuao.
control Huo Yuao's entire body. The evil eye tyrant king had 700,000 years of cultivation, and he believed it wouldn't be difficult to control the violent soul power. Huo Yuao was in a very disadvantaged position, and he almost couldn't resist at all. The evil eye tyrant king was consuming large patches of his spiritual sea, and his own soul power was just starting to stabilize. Whirlpools mixed with soul power and spiritual power rushed towards his spiritual sea, but the evil eye tyrant king's spiritual origin kept blocking them, and didn't allow Huo Yuao to help himself. The evil eye tyrant king's aim was very precise. He wanted to dominate Huo Yuao's spiritual sea at all costs. When that happened, and if he could arrest Huo Yuao's spiritual soul core, he could reduce Huo Yuao's control to as low as it could get. Everything would become a lot easier. Huo Yuao tried to break through several times before he suddenly stopped. He quietly adjusted his soul power and controlled his two soul cores rotations. He seemed like he was temporarily giving up on his spiritual sea, and that made the evil eye tyrant king extremely surprised. Does this child not want his spiritual sea anymore? The dark red colors continuously covered large patches of Huo Yuao's spiritual sea. Dark red patterns also stretched to more places on his face, and his expression appeared unnaturally sinister. The ice emperor's figure behind him became increasingly illusory, but the freezing power produced from her burning her spiritual sense could at least ensure that the soul power within Huo Yuao's dantian wouldn't cause him trouble for the time being. The entire process was very slow. Day passed into night, and night passed into day. While Huo Yuao was facing a test of life and death, the evil eye tyrant king became increasingly excited. He could clearly feel that Huo Yuao's resistance was becoming smaller and smaller. He wouldn't need too much time before he could control Huo Yuao's entire spiritual sea. And when that happened, Huo Yuao would have no chance to turn the tables. Huo Yuao seemed completely unaware of this fact. He was just channeling his soul power quietly, and he had already completely withdrawn all his disorganized soul power and fused it back into his two soul cores. He could even absorb some of the soul power that the Ice Empress had frozen, and he fused it into his soul core. He cultivated it at the same time and allowed his Yin Yang complement soul core soul power to nourish his body and to strengthen himself. The aura that he gave off resembled somebody who was preparing to break through to become an ultimate Dulu and to form a third soul core. He seemed to completely overlook the evil Eye Tyrant King's existence. The evil Eye Tyrant King was anxious about that because the unknown would always be most frightening. No living being would voluntarily relinquish control over his or her own body, so there had to be something amiss because Huo Yuao wasn't interfering with his attempt to control his spiritual sea. But he couldn't possibly ask him, and Huo Yuao couldn't possibly answer him even if he did ask. Therefore, he became exceptionally careful as he continued dominating Huo Yuao's spiritual sea. But this extra care made him slow down a lot more. Inside the Sun Moon Empire's Radiant City, martial law was finally lifted. Over an entire month, Radiant City had been subject to martial law for a month, and more than 200,000 soldiers had stood guard at every alleyway within Radiant City. All kinds of aerial surveillance soul tools dotted the skies above. As the city spent a jittery month in sensitivity, all the shops and businesses in Radiant City had been temporarily closed over the past month. There was a vigorously resentful and grievous atmosphere in the air that chilled everyone's spines. The reason was because the Emperor, who had expanded the Sun Moon Empire's territory by more than a third, and who had only ruled over the Empire for a short while, had died for some unknown reason. The Sun Moon Empire didn't announce the reason for Shu Tianran's death. All they announced to the public was that the Emperor was dead. Radiant City descended into chaos in the following month, especially for the royal family, who were an Artemis. Shu Tianran was dead, and there were still many direct descendants of the royal bloodline. According to the laws, the person who would inherit the throne should be Shu Tianran's only son, the Sun Moon Empire's crown prince, Shu Yanan. However, Shu Yanan was far too young, so how could the royal family's members not look for alternatives? Radiant City was in disarray. Different sides fought each other, and that was especially so for the royal family. The chaos lasted for half a month, and many private armies were mobilized outside Radiant City. The court was also as turbulent as could be. Zhu Zi was the empress, but she remained silent from the beginning to the end, and she was allegedly keeping watch next to Shu Tianran's coffin, and she didn't show herself at all. The worship hall also chose to remain silent. Therefore, everyone seemed to have tacitly agreed that they would allow the royal family's members to determine the eventual victor through their own capabilities. Therefore, several royal members who were relatively more powerful began to fight among each other, and everyone started to form alliances. However, what surprised them was the fact that many individuals chose to remain neutral as they were forming alliances, like they were waiting and looking for something. When Zhu Zi reappeared in court with Shu Yunnan half a month later, and in the moment that she placed Shu Yunnan on the throne, the royal subjects fell into an uproar. But this uproar didn't last for too long. Kong Deming, master of the worship hall, announced that the worship hall only supported the crown prince, who was the rightful heir to the throne. The Sun Moon Imperial Soul Engineer Legion also announced that they were loyal to the crown prince, along with the Fire Phoenix Legion, the Evil Eye Tyrant Legion, and the Terrible Legion. The Sun Moon Empire's armies that were stationed near the borders to readjust and replenish their ranks also announced that they supported the crown prince. The Imperial Dragon Soul Engineer Legion, which Huo Yuao had wrecked a long time ago, were all by themselves. Zhu Zi turned the tides in court almost instantly, and all the royal family's members who were most involved in conflict, especially those who had employed private mercenaries, were directly labeled as traitors and charged with treason. They were stripped of their titles and incarcerated for life. Zhu Zi sufficiently displayed her glory and majesty as the war god empress, and she used the remaining half months to gain control over the entire Sun Moon Empire. She aided Shi Yunnan to ascend to the throne, and she used her status as the empress and commander of the three armies to rule in place of the emperor. Shu Tianran was considered a very capable ruler in the eyes of many of the Sun Moon Empire's citizens, but Zhu Zi was also a very capable ruler, and she was also the war god empress. The effects of many years of life and experience in the army, and in addition to Shu Tianran's almost unreserved support, were on full display. Every single opposing voice was silenced within a very short period of time. Someone who belonged to the Sun Moon Empire's royal family had found Elder Kong and expressed his disapproval towards Zhu Zi. Elder Kong had asked him plainly, "Could you lead the empire to unite the continent if the empire were given to you? Do you have the same status as the empress does in the army?" Zhu Zi wasn't just the empress; she had also become a veteran and cornerstone within the military. Support from the military was always the most important as the generations of emperors changed. The Sun Moon Empire still needed some time to rebuild their royal palace. Zhu Zi handled all official business from the beginning to the end. The Crown Prince Shu Yunnan was still young, but he had already become Kong Deming's disciple. He was introduced to soul tools at a young age, while he began cultivating soul power in the most foundational fashion. It wasn't hard to imagine what his future would be like with top-tier soul engineers supporting him. Zhu Zi believed that her son would be very talented in the future. Zhu Zi stood quietly at her window, while her flowing yellow dress that stretched over the ground sufficiently displayed her majesty and elegance. She wore a crown adorned with all kinds of beautiful jewels on her forehead, while she revealed a single dash of white in front of her chest. Her hands were interlocked with her palms facing inward as she placed them on her abdomen. Her gaze went through the window in front of her as she stared at the clean night sky. She had been standing here for an entire hour, and she maintained this position from the beginning to the end, without moving an inch. There was some moisture on her long eyebrows, like her eyebrows were decorated with water crystals. Why did you have to tell me? She muttered under her breath. Why did you have to tell me that you won't return for another few years? Do you know the pressure that you give me when you're around, and that the hatred in my heart is also suppressed, but you're not around, and you're never by my side? Why do you have to trust me? Why? Tears rolled down her face, slipped across her exquisite chin and dripped down onto the ground. There seemed to be unlimited pain in her eyes. She seemed to make a very difficult decision after a long time, and she closed her eyes as her tears stopped. I'm sorry,